So thank you for joining us. And thank, I appreciate you joining me today. Of course. I'm happy to do it. There we go. Video's up. Nice to see you. So I wanted to, before we get started, all I, I wanted to do was, you know, Thrive, I don't know a ton about it. Uh, one of my uh, team members, Matthias, is a big proponent of Thrive. He was at the one last um, last year and said it was one of the best put together um, programs he's ever been to. Oh, wow. That's, so, that's, that's yeah. cool. Well, I mean, that's the work that you're doing. It's a hard work. And so... Um, what I really want to do is just kind of dig in a little bit to what Thrive is and, and put this video up in throughout all the Free the Kink uh, network. And so people know, because I know it's coming up in April, right? Yeah, April 22nd to 24th. All right. Well, let's get started here. Do you want to introduce yourself and uh, just kind of let us know a little bit about what Thrive is? Sure. I would be happy to. Thank you. I, my name is Devin Stone. Um, I, I use he, him pronouns. I am an all around mad hatter. I wear a lot of hats. I do a lot of things. I'm a professional BDSM educator and alternative lifestyles coach. Um, I founded Pragmatically Kinking, which is the group that started Thrive. Um, Thrive is our weekend version of what PK does basically all throughout the year. Um, just kind of targeted. So PK hosts um, five or six classes a month mostly focused on above the neck topics. So we tackle things like non-monogamy, communication, uh, conflict resolution, and mental health. And Thrive is the entire weekend format. Uh, so we're a conference completely dedicated to BDSM and mental health. Very nice. If somebody wanted to find out some more information, um, and I know we're talking about Thrive, but since PK does do this if they want to find out more information of the classes that you hold where would they go to do that um, pragmatically kinking classes are posted on bet life they're also posted on facebook um so pragmatically kinking has a group on facebook where we post the events we also okay. have a group and a profile on bet life that you can find so you can keep up with all the latest things and i post a lot of it through uh, my social media channels that can all be found at devinstone.com Okay, perfect. And we'll make sure we put that in a link too, so everyone knows. When, so how long ago did you start Thrive? I mean, how long, I mean, how did this come to fruition? Uh, Thrive actually had its first year in 2021. 2021. Okay, so oh. last year was, was our first run. Well, last year was your kickoff, huh? Yeah, Man, that that's, absolutely that's was. Lot, you know, with these, with these events, um, you find the first year is usually a little rocky and obviously you guys did a kick-ass job. So What's the overall mission? So Thrive's mission is to, uh, you know, our tagline is uh, to discover the warrior within. And that's really what our mission is. You know, we bring in presenters and speakers and panelists from all over the place that talk about handfuls of different topics related to mental health. So we, we bring in stuff like mindfulness and communication and radical justice um, all the way up to specific diagnoses. Like this year, we're hosting classes on ADHD, autism, schizophrenia, um, just to name a few. Nice. So, you know, our overall mission is, is really to have folks embrace what really is us, you know, as people. We hear all the time that there's, you know, an influx of people with mental health struggles that are in the kink community. And the reality is, is that there's people with mental health struggles in life, everywhere. just everywhere. Um, so, you know, that whole idea that, you know, most of the people that practice BDSM have issues is like, well, most people have mental health struggles. Um, everybody, right? Yeah. And it really does, you know, it changes how we do things. And, you know, we have to work our relationships around things even more difficult than most vanilla relationships because we involve um, sadism, masochism, power exchange, and kink. But when you add into that somebody that lives with a mental health diagnosis, it can get even more complicated, especially when everybody involved has a different mental health diagnosis, you know? So part of it really is to just let people know that they're not alone and 
<clears throat> hopefully at, at some point along the way, we'll smash some stigma surrounding mental health and kink as well. Yeah, did, wasn't that, a, you were probably the right person to ask this. I think there was, I read a study, I think it was 2015 maybe that it came out where it said that people in the BDSM community don't have more mental health issues than any, any other community in the world. In fact, a lot of times we're found to have less because we find outlets for our issues. Have you ever seen that study? I think absolutely. And I haven't seen the study, but I can tell you for sure that the people that I know in my social circles, as well as in my professional circles, they're, the ratio is the same as it is to, you know, my vanilla, my vanilla connections to my kink connections, to my non-monogamy connections, to my intimacy connections. Like everybody is struggling with something, sure, you know, sure. we, we, uh, I, I ran across a couple of studies saying that you'd be hard pressed to find anybody that doesn't live with at least depression or anxiety. Something. So, you know, and, and they're huge issues that a lot of people live with that we don't talk nearly enough about. So, you know, that's that's what Thrive is for. Yeah, with everything going on in the world, right? It's only, I mean, everyone's got a lot of stress on their plate. Everyone's worried about everything. So, I mean, I mean that creates anxiety just in the day-to-day life. Um, now, what about, what, what's the fee for Thrive? Ha, ah, isn't that the tough question, right? So Thrive brings in a variety of different people to come speak for us. We have presenters that have been teaching for decades. We have folks that are credentialed in the mental health field, folks with PhDs, folks with master's degrees, all the way down to people that have never presented at a conference before. So bringing in that amount of information and talking about the topics that Thrive does, everybody assumes that it's going to be ridiculously, outrageously expensive to come to Thrive. Um, Weirdly enough, we believe really strongly in accessibility. So Thrive is actually completely free to attend. So I saw that, and that's why I said I couldn't believe, and there's no way we could get through all the speakers. I know you have so many. I couldn't believe that you're putting this on. It doesn't cost anything. But, and so that's amazing. But is there a place if somebody wanted to help and donate, is that possible? Or do you not need, do you not need any donations or anything? Even to top that off, you know, the fact that we're able to make Thrive free to attend is, is a really giant win for us. Um, but we actually can't even accept donations. Oh, okay. So. The only thing that we tell people, if you really want to support Thrive, we have two avenues for that. Um, The first of which is before, during, and after the conference, you can visit our Redbubble store and you can pick up some Thrive swag. So we have coffee cups, t-shirts, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, We even have notebooks, um, which I have, I have my notebook over in the other room. I should have brought it out here. Um, But so that's, that's option number one. And option number two, throughout the conference, um, right before the conference, all the way during and after, you'll start seeing some things pop up on our speakers' profiles on our website. And you'll also see chat blurbs dropped throughout the weekend. We recommend that if folks would like to donate or show their appreciation through financial means, that you donate to our speakers. All of our speakers have, almost all of our speakers have given us some outlet for how they receive financial support and, you know, to pay back what they're giving you throughout the weekend. So if you hear a speaker that really moves you or really helps you along in your journey, you'll start seeing PayPal's and cash apps and and stores and all kinds of fun stuff that you can send your support to. Perfect. Well, we encourage everyone at at, uh, Free the Kink, all our members, if you can, please Go in and buy some swag. Um, you, you, if, you, if you've never done something like this, you just can't imagine what it takes to put on an event like this, even a virtual event. It's so much work. There's so much time. So yes, yeah, support them any way you can. Um, what is the, if you had, if you could say, I mean, what I really want people to get out of this for, for, the, for, the, for the weekend, for the event, what would that be? If I wanted everybody to take one thing away, it's that... There is no right way. There is no right way to be. There's no right way to process. There's no right way to live. And there's no right way to kink. Um, That all of us have our different areas of expertise. We all have strengths and weaknesses. We all struggle with something and we all excel at something. You know, there is no right way. And Thrive is one of the many opportunities that myself and PK put together to give people options 
and ideas. Um, we welcome, especially during some of our panels and, and discussions, for folks to share their own experiences and their tips and tricks and the way that things work in their life, because there isn't a right way, but something that you hear over the weekend might help you. Absolutely. And I 100% I agree. And I've Sometimes the way I write and tell my story about me and my slave, sometimes I'll get accused of trying to push a one true way, which is 100%. If you've ever seen my video, I did a video called The One True Way. And I said that there is a one true way and it's your way. It's whatever way works for you. It's your truth. So, um, you know, I've had to do some work on myself over the years on how I write things, because if you don't write things a certain the right way, it may come off as that. And that's right. There is no right way. Everyone's got a different way of doing things. Um, and as long as everyone is consensual and safe, that's all that actually matters. So what uh, what do you what else would you want FTK, the membership to know? Um, is there anything that we've missed here? I'm very excited about letting them our 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 whole community know about it, because I think it's a um, honestly, I can't believe it's free. I think I looked through all the presenters and everything that you guys offer. It's it's really a big deal. So what what is is there anything else that you would like for us to share with our membership? Uh, Thrive this year, you know, if you would have told me last year, next year will be better, I would have told you that's impossible. You know, we had a phenomenal first year. Um, our team is fantastic. And um, if you ever, like, if you follow any of my stuff on Facebook, you'll see me like every three or four days, just, ah, my team is amazing. Um, because we, we really, really work hard to make this happen. And everybody's got their part to play. <clears throat> I think, when it comes to, you know, what I want people to know, there's so much, <laughs> you know, there's, there's tons of stuff going on. Thrive is at, at this point, we've, we've completely finalized the schedule. We're working on getting all of the promos out. Um, we're working on posting the full schedule probably in the next few weeks. Uh, registration is open. So there's that. Um, we know that um, throughout the weekend of Thrive, we'll have 30 classes. We'll also have, I think, I think four panels and we'll also have four special interest groups discussions. So we've got a Littles and Mental Health panel. We've got a Fawn Response panel, which is going to be really exciting. Um, we've got our annual um, Dominant and Submissive uh, panel for Power Exchange and Mental Health is kind of what actually birthed Thrive. Okay. Um, and so now we feature that during the weekend as well. I know we've got a QT BIPOC discussion, a BIPOC discussion, a non-monogamy and mental health and power exchange discussion. You know, we're doing a ton of stuff this year and it just keeps getting bigger and better. And I'm so excited to be a part of it, you know, and I tell people all the time, I don't promote Thrive because I produce it. I promote it because I attend it. That's awesome. And, you got, you, you know, think you have Littles too then, huh? Yeah, absolutely. We, you know, we have, we have Little Fort, which is a group of about 5,000 Littles and caregivers. That's awesome. We'll make sure that we put this over there as well. You know, what we heard, uh, you know, last year, and that's, that's another thing that I tell people all the time is we really take feedback super seriously. You know, we got some feedback last year that there's a lot of crossover between issues that come up when you talk about age play and littles, when you talk about power exchange and mental health. And our team heard that. And the first thing we did this year when we first started um, conceptualizing Thrive was to put together a littles and mental health panel because we heard that from our community and immediately made it happen. That's you know, so cool. and we do that with tons of things. So if you have something that you want to hear or see or talk about, we want to know because we want to make that happen. That's so awesome. And I know how, from working in the group with uh, Little Fort, so many little struggle and they, they struggle from, uh, a lot of it comes from outside pressures, you know, people not accepting them. And that's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm glad you guys have that. Well, I can't be more excited to help you. As it gets closer and you have flyers and you have things to put out, just, just uh, submit them in the group and I'll make sure everyone knows, make sure they get that stuff pushed through for you. Thank you. Uh, anything we can help you with PK and promoting, we'd be glad to do that in some of your classes to help support you. Cause I mean, you got to make a living too. You can't do everything for free. You know what I mean? You got to certain some kind of income to survive. So if we can help in any way, we really will. We appreciate everything that you and your team and all of your presenters are doing. 
Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You know, we, we work hard so you don't have to, you know, come out and enjoy and, and spend the weekend with us and learn and grow and find some commonality between fellow Kingsters that live and, and do the things. Good. Well, I hope uh, I hope a huge portion of our 25,000 members uh, sign up and, and, and come over there with you guys. Thank all of you so much. Uh, this will be up in, a, in about a day or so as soon as the team gets it up. And if you need anything at all from F FGK, you just reach out to me directly and we got you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. I appreciate you. If you need anything, let us know. Absolutely. Take care. Bye bye.